Hi everyone, this is Robin Moyer. Uh, I do quantum spiritual life coaching and I also do uh, workshops. I'm a facilitator of workshops. And this is my first time of doing this, so I'm sorry if it's a little rough. Um, hopefully I'll get better at this. And the reason I'm doing it is because I've really been hearing messages from my guides. They've been nudging me and they especially nudged me first thing this morning that I really needed to get out there and talk about some of these things that are going on in our world today. And also some of my clients have been asking me to do a guided meditation online. So I'm going to do a guided meditation at the end of this. But there are some things that I'd like to talk about first. So just to tell you a little bit about um, the work I do. So up until now, what I've been doing is um, in my quantum process work, I take people back through their subconscious or into their subconscious through um, for, through hypnotherapy and through quantum process work, um, through neuro-linguistic processing and all that, what that means really is just going to that place within us that is our higher self, that is the place where our beliefs are all stored, our memories are stored, and it's those places where um, actually scientists are finding that neuro, um, neural pathways are formed in our brain and so it is that place where if we want to shift something in our life, we want to ha live a happier, healthier life with more abundance in our life, with better relationships, um, that we need to go in order to just shift those old beliefs. And a lot of those old beliefs are, you know, we've all had things from childhood, from our adolescence, even adulthood. Um, stories that we've taken on that really aren't even ours and so if we want to change those you know our conscious mind is always trying to protect us and so our conscious mind wants to keep us just where we are and so it really takes going back to that place in our subconscious where we can actually create a new belief where we can create um, a new story so to speak about um, how we want to live our life and what we want that to look like and part of that story that we're creating right now is that we are not limited. We are not this third dimensional body with just this limited library of information in it, but we are actually um, spiritual beings who are living in this physical body. And so we have access to all that there is in the universe to have access to, all that is in the quantum field to have access to. So I'm going to explain that in a second. But so basically when I work with my clients, it's been really a beautiful experience. I've seen people change like enormously and, and shift um, their old beliefs into and create things in their life that they really want to create. Um, and I want to say that up until now, we've been doing a lot of, you know, just inner work. Uh, a lot of us have been doing meditations. We've been um, connecting to our guides. Uh, we've been working with other people like myself um, or going to people who can work with your guides and your teachers and and um, give you messages and assist you in that way. And that's all beautiful and I hope people will continue that because, you know, doing that inner child work is really like cleaning out the closet. And if we really want to have new things in our life, then we need to clean out that closet so we're not putting the old junk on top of the new. And there's something very new happening in our world. And what that new is, is that we are at a place right now where it's important for us to start understanding and accepting and um, realizing that we are more than this physical body. That, again, I'm going to go into that quantum field, that um, what we call the soul or what we call you know, this consciousness or, or this energy that's, that's housed in this body, that it is, um, that it's outside this as well. And that there's this um, oh, limitless energy, vibrations that um, are all love and that are, is all knowledge that ever exists and ever will exist, that is where every being in the world, um, all the energy of Mother Earth, all the other planets in the universe, 
all of our ascended masters, our sky families, um, just our the interdimensional galaxies and um, universes all exist in that quantum field. And so basically you can say it's everything, right? And we have not only just access to that, but we are a part of that. We are one with that. This small aspect of ourself is one of that larger whole. And so in the past, we've gone into meditation and or we've gone to speak with people and work with people, and we've had glimpses of that. We've had glimpses of feeling the vibration of that quantum field, feeling the higher vibration, because it is a higher vibration. So I'm going to transgress for a second to say that in this third dimensional body, we, um, you know, we have a, a denser vibration. It's a slower vibration. And that as we move up in the other dimensions of ourselves, the vibration in increases. We just basically change the channel. And so the vibration increases. And as we get into the quantum field and that aspect of ourselves, that higher self of ours, the vibration is very high and it's vibrating very, very quickly. And it, in fact, as I speak about it now, I can begin to just even feel that energy. That's what it does for us, is when we're in the quantum field and in the energy of it, we begin to resonate with that. Um, our being begins to resonate with that, that aspect of ourselves at the same level, at the same vibration. And so, um, in the past, again, we've touched on that at times during meditation or when we've, you know, visited people or worked with people. And it's time to now not just be touching on that for time to time, but to be living in that vibration. And what does that do for us to live in that vibration? Well, what it does is it opens us up to all the possibilities that ever were and ever will be. It opens us up to all the quantum knowledge that exists and all the access to all of our guides and teachers and um, ascended masters who have information and love us and, have, and want to support us, have been here to support us all along. So, and it is not, the quantum field is not this just bigger library. Let, let's say that, you know, our minds are this small library and now we want to access this bigger library. It's not just this stagnant bigger library. What the quantum field is, is this living, breathing um, creation that we are creating through our thoughts and through our actions. And Mother Earth is, um, is creating as well and is developing at the same rate as we are developing, if not faster. And so um, I'm going to transgress for a second again to just talk to you about that, about this new earth that we are creating and what that means opposed to this old earth that we're creating or that we have here. So, you know, we all are light beings. We all, in a sense, are walk-ins in that We've all had many, many, many lifetimes. Who knows how many lifetimes? And we've all come from these other places where there was greater knowledge. And we all have gifts. And we all have um, knowledge from those places. And so Earth was kind of like this experiment where it was a way for all of us to come here with all those gifts and with all that knowledge and to come in a communal place and to share that information and to live in a fifth dimensional or higher frequency. Those are just frequencies when I talk about that. Um, in a way that, you know, we have these abilities. We have these abilities to teleport to other planets and back and forth from here, from Earth. We had the ability when we first came to be able to um, telepathically communicate with each other and instant manifestation of things. What we needed was instantly manifested. So some along, where along the, lay, the way, we forgot. We forgot who we were. We forgot that we were these light beings. We forgot that all these masters and all these teachers and all these guides that we asked for information from, that we are them, that we... We have that 
spark of that in us and we are that. And that's the only difference really between the ascended masters. And there were people on this earth like Jesus and like Buddha and other high masters who um, they knew, they understood, they remembered who they were. They remembered who they were when they came to this earth. And so that's the only difference between them and us. And their ascension process, you hear that term ascension too, that ascension process, it was just living in that vibration and at that vibrational level. So they're still here. They're just in a different vibrational level that, than what where we are. And we were at that vibrational level when we first came in. And somehow we've just... Our vibration is slowed to this third dimensional vibration and we've forgotten. We've forgotten that that's who we are. And so in that process, you know, we forgot that each of us had a gift and we thought that other people had the gift and we didn't have the gift. And we felt separated and we felt alone and we felt um, frustrated and scared and fear was created. And out of fear created all the things that we have in our world today that we really do not want to see any longer. And so it really took us collectively um, as a group to want to have the desire again, because we're creating, having the desire again to live in that way again, to see that kind of earth again. It took for us to collectively have that vision again in order for us, for this process to begin to, and this vibration to begin to speed up again. And so that's what's going on right now. And, you know, so different people say different things, but, um, and some people say that we needed to reach a threshold and that 2012 was that threshold where we collectively decided that this is what we wanted. And so we are in the process right now of creating this new earth and um, and so that takes us having our focus on love you know it's all about love really and having our focus on again how do we want to see that earth and as we do because this quantum field because this um, we are creative beings we are literally creating this new earth. I see it and my guides have shown me that it's almost like an overlay of this earth right now. It's this overlay of what's being created, this other picture that's being created over this picture that exists today. And so that's why many of us are beginning to have, um, beginning to have the attributes of that consciousness, of that vibration, which means that, you know, for me, I know that things are instantly manifesting again. And I am able to um, bring in information from other sources, um, from my higher self, basically, and from other guides who are assisting us. And, um, and that's just, as that happens, it's fun, and it's joyous, and it's loving, and um, I want to create more of it. I want to create more of that, and I want to have more of that ability to connect with other people in that way, and, um, and to see all that's out there, all this knowledge that's out there, and all these universes that are out there, and this is our ability to do that. And so... Um, what I'm hearing too is that it's um, that it's really important for us to be coming together now as groups um, because when we do that that I start talking about these things that are happening for me and it resonates with your vibration and resonates with the information that you know and you remember that part, that information that you had, that piece of the puzzle that you had. And so then somebody else talks, and then it resonates with me a little bit more. And so what I was able to do individually before, now it takes it to the next level to be able to do this together. 
And so that's a really important part of this. And talking about it is a really important part of this. I'm really being told how important it is for us to talk about all this stuff that's happening. And some people are experiencing it in not so, you know, what we would label positive ways in that it also means clearing, again, a lot of that old stuff that we've been holding on to and getting into a really, really deep level of that. And we all know that, you know, there's layers of the onions to that, onion to that, that when we think that we are, we're done with something, then it just comes up again, you know, and it triggers something else in us. And we can start to see those trigger, triggers not just as, you know, negatives, but start seeing it as our guideposts, really, of this is the other thing that I need to work on. And just know that, you know, the things that are coming up in me are things that now I can recognize as it comes up and I can begin to release it and know that that's why it's coming up is just to be released. And it's what's going on in our world too. All the ugliness that's, you know, going on in our world is just that stuff that is no longer serving us coming to the surface to be healed. And it's not about like, you know, it's not about just wanting to push away because we know that when we resist things, it persists. It's really about saying thank you to ourselves and our conscious mind, first of all, for um, protecting us at, at this time and just saying, there's something else that I want to believe now. There's something else that I want to see. And it's about our world, too. Instead of like getting all involved in and hung up on the stuff that's going on, which just creates more of it because we're creative beings, just saying, you know, thank you for coming to the surface and I want to release you now because that's not the world that we want anymore in our future. And so, um, so some of the other things that are coming up is that um, I know people are getting very tired. I know sometimes I get very tired. All I want to do is meditate for a whole day and then I say, oh my gosh, I haven't been doing anything today. And you know what, that's okay because as he's, we're, what we're doing is are raising our vibration. And as our vibration raises, our body is trying to assimilate this higher vibration. And so it needs more sleep, you know. Um, we're beginning to see things in our dreams and um, being able to see things just dimensionally different. I talk about this in my workshops, and that's what my workshops are about, are about taking this to the next level and being able to see in a quantum way and experience every day in a quantum way, which is seeing beyond just this picture that I created before, seeing things, you know, and you begin to see things in an expanded way. You begin to, you know, when there's animals that show up, seeing what is the message in that animal that just showed up for me or a person that shows up what is the purpose of that person in my life um you begin to see the miracles you know the course in miracles talks about that miracles happen every day and we used to think of it as that call the miracles because it was like it was out of our frame of understanding and it was like it seemed like this amazing synchronicity but when you start living in that way every day then synchronicities are just a natural thing and miracles are just a natural thing you know it's just the way that the universe flows it's just the way that we are saying yes to everything and so we are being supported in that way in creating that for ourselves and for our universe and for Mother Earth, and for all living beings. So, you know, the other thing that's that's happening for people is that some people are going into fear. Some people are, are seeing very strange things going on and wondering what it's all about. You can see all of the systems in our world breaking down, and um, people are going into a fear mode about it. And that's one of the reasons why it's important for us to be in community again. And it's important for us to speak about these things so we can help those people who are in a fear mode to understand that it's actually a beautiful thing that's happening. It's actually something that, um, that's something bigger 
that we can we can create and we are creating for ourselves. So as we said yes in 2012 to this, things have been speeding up. And in the last couple of months, there have been waves of energy, and maybe some of you are feeling it. I'm actually getting vibrations, <laughs> strong vibrations about it again as I'm speaking about it, which is indications to me that it resonates with my higher self that's saying, yes, this is true. And so as this is um, the last couple of months, um, we are, I am, uh, like I said, getting more intuitions, getting a more ability to telepathically communicate, having more manifestations, um, having all these different symptoms, you know, of this new earth that is coming. And so, and one of the things that my guides showed me is that there are waves to it. And so, and some people have talked about that a timing of it, which I don't really want to go into the timing of it, because um, I just don't know. It's not something that I've personally experienced what the timing specifically is going to be about it, except for that my inner knowing tells me that this is all happening right now, and it tells me that it's going to continue to accelerate, and also I am being shown certain things about what's to come. And so one of the things that I'm being shown is that there's an alarm clock. There's, and uh, they show me this picture of, and I say they, which is like, who's they? It's like our collective guides, higher masters, teachers, my higher self is they. And so they are communicating to me and showing me things, pictures. And one of the pictures they showed me is this image of like an alarm clock. And they said that, you know, when you set an alarm clock, and let's say that everyone on this earth has set this alarm clock. And so some of us, you know, wake up before our alarm clock does. And we feel this calling and we feel this knowing. And we are beginning to transition into this new earth consciousness. We are beginning to ascend or awaken into this higher vibration. And so some people will be and are leaving the planet for whatever reason. Either it was their exit point and their time. Some people are leaving the planet to assist in this transition. And um, and some people are just awakening and are here helping us through this process. Um, and the alarm clock hasn't gone off yet. It's just this steady process that's going. Some people will hear this alarm clock. And what I'm being told and what a lot of people on the Internet are talking about is the event. And I see the event as where it's this big awakening, this big opportunity, whether it's from the mother's son, you know, our son um, is going to send rays of light or energy, an energy spurt or what it is, I don't really know. Um, what I have seen is that it's almost like this luminescent, um, colors of light, like crystal, you know, colors of crystal, the white light that's just fractured into colors of light, and it's luminescent, and it's those waves of vibration, and um, some people have seen it as literal waves that people will see, some people have seen it as a mist that will come. And in it is an awakening, a quickening. It's just a quickening, an awakening. And some people will hear that alarm clock and it'll be a very, very high, powerful energy and they'll recognize it as such and awaken. 
in that instance. When I mean awaken, again, or ascension, is, is automatically remember. Remember that we are those higher consciousness beings who can do these things, have these gifts, are connected to all things, and won't necessarily leave this planet. In fact, I don't believe that's the way it's going to work. I believe that this new universe is going to unfold. And this new universe is going to be a fifth dimensional universe with all these attributes. And we will be part of that. Now some people, just like with a regular alarm clock, will hit the snooze button. Aren't quite ready for that, but they'll feel the energy of this event. And they'll know something happened. And they'll know it's time to step up at the plate. And there's maybe some healing that needs to play, take place. I have seen that there will be huge healing centers created. And some people will sleep for a while, just like we do when they hit the snooze button, where we go back to sleep for a while. And I don't know if you'll be aware of being asleep or not. Um, it may be in an instant the way it feels to us it could be you know a long period of time I just don't know and it'll be a place of healing healing crystals some people have actually seen this as well and described them as smaller than what I've seen um, like almost like domes that are healing centers that people will heal and progress in this process until they're ready for their awakening as well. We will all have this opportunity. It's not like you're going to heaven or hell and you're not going to have this opportunity. Everyone will be affected and everyone is being affected right now. Everybody's being called. Everybody's being supported but the, by all the higher beings that already know this is where we're going and already are there. Um, it's just our own choice. It's personal choice, right? It's free will when we want to go and when, what we want to experience. And so some people will not even accept or don't even, won't even know that this alarm clock went off. <laughs> it's kind of like deny that the alarm clock went off. And so for those people, those people will be, they'll continue to live this cycle as we have lived it before of life and rebirth. Because in this new universe, there will not be this cycle of life and rebirth. There won't be a need for that. Um, but they'll continue and, you know, continue to do this process. And I do believe that, and this is why I call myself a spiritual life clothes coach is because I believe that we are all spiritual beings who are all um, progressing in a spiritual way back to who we are, just reawakening. And so even those people who aren't ready right now to hear the alarm clock are still moving in that process just at their own pace. And unfortunately, that sometimes what goes along with that is continued fear. Um, and, it, and Mother Earth may go through some really heavy-duty stuff, you know. We're already seeing it happening. We're already seeing earthquakes and volcanoes that have never erupted in our lifetime and all kinds of these earth anomalies that are going on. And who, el who knows what else will happen on this 3D Earth that those people will be a part of still. And, you know, and maybe that'll shake people up a little bit, too, that are even in that place. I just don't know. I just know, I know where I am guided to be. I know where many of you are feeling you want to be. And that's why I'm talking about it. And I'll probably be talking about it more as things come through for me and there's so much more to say and so I don't want this to go on too long 
And so I just want to say that the more we can be in love, in that love place, the more we can see that when things do come up from us, sometimes it's some of that just old stuff that needs to be released, the more that we can give ourselves and others a break <laughs> and just um, be okay, you know, be here, um, which is just a whole other story, but, you know, we're used to doing, 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 doing. It's part of that, you know, yang energy. And right now, there's a very much a being, a, a yin, yin energy that's coming in, which is more about accepting, allowing, being. And both are equally needed. It's the balance of it that is important. Um, so, let's do a little guided meditation now. And before I go into that, just to let you know, I do have a website. Um, it's passionquest.strikingly.com. And I would love for you to go and check out some of the things I'm doing. Um, I also, I am in the Placerville, California area. If some of you like, would like to come to some of the workshops that are available here, you can find out about those on my website. Um, also, I have a meetup page, um, Passion Quest, A Path to Greater Health and Harmony. So I would love for you to, um, to attend some of those as well. Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes during this and just allow um, a guided meditation to take place. So make yourself comfortable. Um, if you are sitting in a comfortable place already, great. If not, find yourself a comfortable place to sit or lie down if you'd like, whatever's most comfortable for you. And then close your eyes. And begin to just be aware of your breathing. And just allow your breathing to just gently breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And begin to slow to its just natural and normal pace. And as you do so, I would like you to just pay attention to your heart for a moment. For that beautiful heart. And just focus on your heart. Focus at, on the fact that it has its own brain and that it's expansive and that it touches every cell of our being. And that when we focus on something of gratitude, you know, this is part of heart math, those of you who are familiar with heart math. But it just talks about that when we focus on something that, that we are very grateful for, that it just opens that heart space. So go ahead and just breathe into that heart and just focus your, your attention now on something that you're grateful for. Maybe it's a loved one. Maybe it's a place of beauty. Maybe it's an animal that you love. Maybe it's a memory that just brings you back to that place of gratitude. And as you do, I want you to notice how that softens your heart and how that opens that heart space. And allow that opening to just begin to fill every cell of your body. And as we sit here now, breathing in and breathing out, I want you to imagine now that there's this beautiful golden light 
above your head. And this golden light is warm, warm like the sun. And this golden light is soft and gentle, like a baby blanket. And I want you to imagine that that golden light now is just coming down from above and just is moving over the top of your head and down over your forehead and your face, allowing your facial muscles to just relax. For as this golden light passes over each part of your body, it will allow that part of your body to just relax, release, and let go. And so just allowing that golden light to pass over your eyes and the back of your eyes, your eyelids, your cheeks, your lips, just eat down deep inside your, your mouth even, just becoming not too moist and not too dry, but just perfect. And just allowing this golden light to pass over your neck and your shoulders just feeling like this, it's almost like a cleansing also, and it's a warmth, and it's a loving energy, and it's a nurturing, and so just feel it just nurturing every part of your body, and your neck, and your shoulders, and your head, and as it moves over your throat, just notice if there's any tightness in your throats because sometimes, especially for those of us who have not spoken our truth at times, there's a tightening in your throat. So we're just going to release that now and allow that golden light to just move over your throat. You might even want to place your hand on your throat and send that loving energy from your heart to your throat or to any part of your body that we pass that needs a little bit more attention, a little bit more softening, a little bit more love, you can just call attention to it by putting your hand on that part of your body. And just asking it to just relax and let go. You can't force it, but you could ask. And all your muscles and your cells will just relax and the tension will just let go. And if there are thoughts that are coming to your mind, just go ahead and allow those thoughts to come to your mind and then just let them go. Instead of following them, that's what we normally do. Just let them go like a balloon that we just let go up into the sky. Just let it go. And so this golden light now is just moving down over your shoulders and over your upper arms, and over your forearms, and over your hands, and your fingers. And some people feel a tingling in their fingers as this energy begins to move over your fingers and your arms. And as this vibration begins to increase in your body, you can feel a tingling sometimes. And if you don't, that's okay too. It really doesn't matter. What matters is that you're just relaxed. And feel this relaxation moving over your lungs and your heart again. And down over your back, feeling if there's any tension in your back that needs to be released. And just asking it to be released, asking it to let go. And just being relaxed, all those muscles. Let go. Be relaxed, it's okay. And allowing this beautiful golden light to just move over your abdomen and moving over all of those chakras within you, your root chakra, down into your core and moving down over your legs, your upper legs, 
your knees. We actually hold a lot of tension in our knees. So just see, are your knees relaxed? And your calves? And your feet? All the way down to the tips of your toes. And so now just scan your body again. Scan it with this golden light once more. And see, is there any other place that needs more relaxation? If there is, just go ahead and ask it to just relax and let go. And so as we are now in this place of relaxation, I would like you to imagine for a moment. Allow yourself to go to a beautiful, beautiful beach. It's the most beautiful beach that you've ever seen. And there's this white, white sand. And for those of you who enjoy walking and putting your feet in the sand, take off your shoes and just feel the sand beneath your feet and the warmth of the sand from the daylight sun. And for those of you who don't like that feeling, just keep your shoes on as you walk through the beach. And as you walk along the beach, you can hear very clearly the sounds of the waves as they crash along the shore. There's just a rhythm, a rhythm to nature, to where the way the waves come in and go out. And it's mesmerizing to you to listen to the way those waves go in and go out. And way off in the distance, you can hear some seagulls as they fly overhead. It's a beautiful sounds of nature. And you can actually hear the sounds of some kids playing way, way off in the distance as well, laughing. But you see, there's no one on the speech but you right now. And it's just this peaceful place that you love to come. And it's, you know, you're alone, but you're not lonely. And it's safe. It's so safe. Because, you see, this is a place that you're creating. You're creating in your mind's eye. So you can create it any way you'd like it to be. If you want there to be rocks on this beach, there can be big boulders on this beach. If you want it to be just flat with nothing else, you can create it that way. You can create the level of safety and of aloneness, but not loneliness, that you want, of peace that you want. So I'm just helping you to create this in your mind's eye. But you create too. Create along with me. And so in my picture, we're going to move along this beach. And notice that above you is this beautiful blue sky that just matches the color of the ocean. It's this beautiful, like, oh, there's actually different colors of blue in the ocean. You know, it's kind of like one of those Mediterranean or Caribbean blues that are just so beautiful. And the sky seems to reflect that same color. And there's some clouds in the sky, but they're just moving by very softly, very gently. And as they move by, you know, you can watch them and you can create pictures in those clouds if you like. Or you can just see them as wispy, almost like veils that are just traveling by, whatever you like. And so I'd like you to find yourself a place. There's actually a, a, a big rock that I'm seeing, 
And if you'd like, you can go and sit and put your back against that rock. And sit against that rock and have it support you. Or you can lie down in the sand if you'd like. Or you could sit in the sand. Whatever you'd like that makes you feel comfortable and relaxed. And so, just sitting there or lying there gives you the opportunity to just relax even more and to just let go even more. And as you do, as you relax there, I want you to notice, notice for a moment that in your mind's eye you can see someone, something, this can be someone human, it could be an ethereal being, it can be a spirit animal. Wherever it is, just allow it to appear in your mind's eye, coming towards you. Loving, loving energy, perhaps just energy. And perhaps you don't see it at all. Perhaps you just feel it. You imagine it. But there is this loving being, and I'm going to call it a being, no matter what it is that you're perceiving it to be that is coming towards you now and sits right down next to you and you look into their eyes and they look into your eyes or perhaps if there's no eyes to look into it's just into their essence And as you do, there is a feeling of intense love, like you've never felt before, emanating from them. And as you look at them, and this feeling of love is emanating from them, there's, it just ignites this feeling of love from you as well. And you realize in that moment that you are one with them, that they are you. You see, this is your higher self. This is your aspect of you, that aspect of you. That aspect of you that you do love, and no matter how much you may be in a place of not loving lately, you know that there's a part of you, a very, even the most minuscule part of you, that remembers that you are love and that loves yourself. And so feel that love right now. And if it's difficult for you to do, feel it emanating from this being, this being that is you. This is the mother or father that all of us have ever wanted to have. This is the friends, the lovers, that all of us have ever wanted to have. This is that part of us that is always with us. And this part of us wants us to know something. So I want you to listen now. Listen now to what this part of you would like you to know. What would this part of you like you to know? And I'm going to be quiet for a moment so that you can listen. Beautiful. Take that in. 
take in that very important message from your higher self. And now we're going to store that message in a place that you won't forget that. So I want you to notice in your mind's eye that you can create a little box. And it can be any kind of box that you want it to be. A jeweled box. A wooden box. Material box. Any kind of box you'd like it to be. And this is where you can store this information. This is where you can keep this reminder from this part of yourself. So go ahead and put it in your box. And if there's anything else you'd like to put in your box that helps you to remember that you are a loving being. That you are a quantum being. That you are more than this, this body. And that there are so many beloved and benevolent beings who are there to assist you in remembering this. Put that in the box as well. You have done well. And so allow now for that part of you to just gently integrate with that part of you that is sitting or lying there to merge with you. And just begin to walk back down the beach from where we started. And as you walk down the beach from where we started, you will begin to feel an awakening happening inside yourself. All the parts of your body are just beginning to light up again. And you're feeling a quickening in your body and you're feeling a quickening in your heart. And you're feeling a love that you haven't felt before. You can feel it in that heart space of yours. And so I want you to begin to feel the muscles of your body again. And I want you to begin to feel your feet grounded into Mother Earth again. And I want you to just begin to feel your mind just alive again and clear and feel the joy and the possibilities of what is to come. And I want you to begin to just feel your presence in the room where you are right now and feel all the space around you where you are right now and just open your eyes when you are ready, softly and gently. Ah, oh, just beautiful. I hope that was as amazing for you as it was for me. And I will talk to you all very soon. Love and light. Robin.